Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up 301 redirects in WordPress. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser. So we've been using this website to demonstrate some plugins in WordPress. It's just a little demo website. And let's say for example, one day you decide that you want to delete one of these pages, right? Let's say the About Us page, for example, you no longer need it, you just want home services, pricing, contact us, you want to get rid of the About Us page. If you go ahead and delete that page and not set up a 301 redirect, anyone that used to have that access to that page, so they might have bookmarked it, you might have sent it to someone in an email, you might have shared it on social media, whenever they click on that link and that page no longer exists, it's going to generate something called a 404, an error. Right, so let's watch that error. Let's actually create that error and let me show you how to fix it afterwards. So for now, I'm going to copy this URL. It's uh, developer.dcpmix.com slash about, right? And we just paste that into a little notepad file. So we've got it for reference. So that's the page. And let's just say that we no longer need this page. Or it could be any page on your website. It could be a product page. It could be the pricing page. It might be a team member page and one of your team members has left your company. So what you do, you just delete the page. You don't really do that. You delete the page, but then you have to set up something called a 301 redirect. We have to tell the search engines that if anyone ever goes to this page that you've deleted, we want to redirect them to a different page. So in this example, we're going to delete the About Us page and redirect everyone to the home page. Let's try and set that up now. So I'm going to go into the admin control panel and go to plugins. And inside plugins, I'm going to click add new and I'm going to type in 301. 301. And when I type in 301 here, you're going to get various 301 redirect plugins. And one that I like to use is this one here, 301 uh, redirects, easy redirect manager. So I'm going to go ahead and click install and then click activate. Now there is a free version and a paid version of this plugin. So depending on how many redirects you need to do, uh, you might want to opt for the paid version, but the free version should work fine if you're just doing a handful of redirects or you're not doing them so often. If you go inside of the settings here, you'll see 301 redirect. So let's click on that. And you can see there's options for the paid version, right? So if you want to uh, you know, have more control over your 301s or you want to do lots and lots of 301s, like bulk import them, then uh, you can uh, pay for one of these lifetime uh, licenses. But that's your choice. For now, we're going to just use the free version. So I'm going to click out on the screen that will remove that. And before we do anything else, I'm just going to middle mouse click on pages. So I want to go to pages. I want to go to pages here. Now, in theory, we shouldn't, we don't really need to delete the page. In theory, we should be able to redirect it without deleting it. So let's try and test that first. Um, it's saying here, redirect from. So we're going to redirect from the about page. So remember, it's about here. So let's copy this about slash about this one here. And it's going to ask us to redirect to where. So we're going to redirect it to a page, a specific page, and it's going to be the home page. So anyone going to this URL slash about will be redirected to the home page. Let's try and save it and test it. So now that we've got that set up, we can go and open up the web browser. So we've got this URL here and we can imagine we've deleted that about us page and let's just try and test it to see if it works. So we'll go to about and it should redirect us to the home page. Look, if we go to about, even if we click about here, it just redirects to the home page. So we can imagine that the about us page was deleted or temporarily disabled. Um, then we can set up a 301 redirect. There's a couple of reasons to do that. Um, the first reason is if I go to Google, let's just go to google.co.uk and let's just type in my company here. Let's just type in DCP web designers. And if we search for the results, you can see that there's London web designers, there's contact us, and there's a few other pages in here, right? Cached up here. So if, if for any reason I deleted this page, this is cached in Google. So when someone clicks on that link, uh, we, I would want to redirect them to another page. This one happens to go to my About Us page, right? It goes to the About Us page. But if I deleted that, then maybe I could redirect them to the home page. So another example of this is, Many years ago, I don't know, let's just see if we can get this to work. Let's go to, in fact, uh, website design. So this is my website design page. And many years ago, I used to have a URL called uh, dcpweb.co.uk website-design.html. And if I hit the enter key, it redirects to website design. So many years ago, having .html was quite common. I've been running my business for many, many years. And... Um, 
this was a common URL to have like a .html or .php at the end of it. And at some point in time, I sat down with my developers and said, we need to get rid of this .html. So we had to set up 301 redirects to tell Google this .html page no longer exists, but we should redirect the traffic to the website design page without the .html. So that's a good example of 301 redirects as well, yeah? That's a good example. So if we don't want that 301 redirect, we can just simply go into here and delete it. So if I delete this, um, let's just see, delete. Yep, that's gone. If we go back to the website and click home and then click about, our page will be back again. So we don't necessarily need to delete the page from the admin control panel. We don't actually have to delete this page. We can set up a 301 redirect, but typically you set up 301s if you want to um, get rid of a page, right? So if you want to get rid of that page completely, then you should set up a 301 redirect uh, and redirect about us to home or services to about us or services maybe to pricing or maybe pricing to services and so forth. So that's how you go about setting up 301 redirects. It's worth doing that because if for any reason someone finds a link in Google or your social media or wherever you've posted that link to that page and that page doesn't exist anymore, you're gonna end up generating a 404. So if I go to the pages section and let's tick this about us and let's move it to the trash. So I'm gonna move it to trash so as if it's completely gone, right? That page doesn't exist anymore. So it doesn't exist anymore. And if I go to about us, it's going to run a 404 and we don't want to see this. This is called a 404, the page can't be found. That's not good. So if someone clicks on one of your social media links and it shows a 404 um, or you've sent an email to someone some time ago and you delete that page, you want to redirect it. So really what should happen is if we go back to our redirects, put in the about slash here, then we can go to redirect to a specific page let's say we want to redirect it to the home page and click save now that we've saved that instead of showing this error page when anyone goes to the about us page it will take them to the home page right so if you shared that about us link on your social media or you put it in your email profile in your signature or wherever you've placed it on the internet or you've got it in a pdf file Wherever it might be, we want to redirect them if we delete that page. So hopefully that's clear. There's the reasons behind it. And that's how you install the 301 redirect plugin on WordPress. And that's how you use it. Let's go ahead and minimize this page. That's a quick basic introduction for 301 redirects in WordPress. Hopefully you find this tutorial useful. And I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.